beautiful sandy beach on the southeast coast of Oahu. Beautiful, but one of the most dangerous beaches in the world. You'll notice the color of the sand. It's made of fragments of reef organisms. These white sand beaches are made of fragments of coral, a hard algae known as coralline algae, a plant known as halomita that when it dies it turns white and turns into hard uh, fragment as well, bits of rock and bits of sea urchin spines which in Hawaiian are known as vana and broken up shells. Now because of the heavy wave action we tend not to have as many shells in Hawaii as you do for instance on the Florida coast but all of these broken skeletal fragments from the reef reflect the productivity of the reef located offshore. Another feature of the beach here is the wave action. In Hawaii, we have four basic types of waves. We have trade wind waves, which are made by trade winds which blow out of the east and northeast during the majority of the year. The second type of wave is called swell, and that's a wave that's made far away. In the wintertime in the northern Pacific, we have storms that produce uh, waves that travel to Hawaii and arrive on our north shores as north swell. Our third type of wave is south swell that arrives in our summer, but southern hemisphere winter when you have stormy periods in the southern ocean. The fourth type of wave is called a Kona wave, which is simply a wave generated by bad weather that arrives in Hawaii from the northwest and west. And again, that's a wave generated by local winds. These trade wind waves are produced uh, right here in the local body of water and as they travel towards the shoreline they'll break across the shallow reef if one exists but here at Sandy Beach we don't have a shallow reef so you'll notice we don't have a wide surf zone and instead the full energy of the wave travels all the way to the beach and breaks directly on the beach face in what's known as a plunging wave that's the reason this is such a dangerous beach However, you'll see a bunch of very skilled ocean users out there that have a lot of fun in these waves because they know what they're doing. Waves also arrive at beaches at an angle and they can transport sand along the shoreline in what's known as longshore transport. Because of changes in the winds and waves during the course of the year, beaches will change their shape. They'll tend to pile up at one side of the shoreline in the wintertime and in the summertime, the, the sand will travel in a different direction and pile up in another segment of the shoreline. That's what's marvelous about beaches, is that they're so flexible and natural, and they're constantly changing their shape in response to the forces that build them. Beaches are essentially a function of sand availability. And if there's an abundant abu amount of sand, and if the beach has allowed the environmental room to change shape with the winds and the waves during the course of the year, beaches remain healthy and available for all of us to continue to use.